printed T-shaped tool and then set the wings of the frame on each side to the groove of the tool. Tighten the tool. And then insert 0.9 millimeter, a boot first, and a ring into 0.9 millimeter buffer cable. Verify proper direction of the ring. Strip off a buffer cable at 30 millimeter position using a buffer stripping tool. Carefully clean the exposed fiber with alcohol. Any cleave tool is acceptable as long as it is qualified to cut 125 micrometer fiber. Clean the exposed fiber at exact 12 millimeter point from the stripped fiber side. And assemble a guide tool to the end groove of the T-shaped tool. Make sure the wings of the frame are inserted to the groove properly. Hold the tool as it is shown and place strip fiber in a V-groove of the tool by holding cable with right hand. Gently insert fiber all the way into the frame hole until when the ring is reached to the end of the tool. Check bending rate of buffer cable while taking this procedure. Press down the connector with your index finger until the guide tool is detached from the tool. Make sure that the cable's position is fixed. Release the guide tool carefully. Push up the clamp ring until it is reached to the stopper.
Remove a cap from the frame and connect it to the fault locator. Turn on the locator by toggling power switch to the on position. If you don't see any light on the side of frame, the connector is well assembled. But if you see light, it indicates that the connection of fiber cores is not good. After the light test, replace the cap onto the connector. If the second step is completed without failure, screw up the boot firmly to the stopper. Insert frame into outer housing until you hear tick-tock sound or clicking. To remove outer housing, push down cap strongly against the hard flat surface. Pull down the boot holding inner housing with one hand. Spread a T-shaped tool and then set the wings of the frame on each side to the groove of the tool. Remove the ring from the frame. and push it up to the reverse direction. Gently remove the cable from the connector and then cut off the strip cable. Repeat assembly step from the beginning. Thank you very much.